All right, greetings there, brothers. Um, not a long one today because there is no intro nor an outro because I was a bit of a time crunch today, but I'm trying to live up to my promise and document as much of this process as I can given my schedule. Uh, today was my secondary bench press. Pretty run down. Shouldn't necessarily be as run down as I am from the training, but a few nights of bad sleep in a row uh, have me feeling like I really need my rest day tomorrow. Um, part of that is also because I am putting my foot on the gas with my like squat training and my deadlift training and my back training. and I'm still working on all those other facets of my training, which you guys have probably heard me say plenty of times. I think that's a big deal. I think there's a very big difference between being a deadlift specialist, a bench specialist uh, versus someone who's working on multiple facets of their strength. I think that is a tremendous advantage, right? A perfect example of this is... Um, if you go on to open powerlifting and you say, okay, let's set the margin to a 600 pound bench press. Uh, if we do bench only, there's like 170 people that have done it. And if you go to full power, it's like 34. And of those 34, at least six of them just took token squats and deadlifts. So it wasn't truly full power. Um, it just goes to show it is a tremendous difference to have it be one of three training goals versus your entire training goal. And so that's mostly just me coping uh, and saying I do think that matters. But this training session, despite me being really run down, man, I'm just getting stronger each week. Um, I just I haven't really run into the resistance I was expecting thus far. I really don't know where to expect my upper end is even at. Um God, I, I've, I've, I'm usually pretty pessimistic, which I'm sure you guys have picked up on in assessing where I'm at and my rate of progressions and um, that kind of thing, because I would rather surprise myself positively or worst case scenario, I'm right. I'm going to try as hard as I can regardless. So I'm, I usually err on the conservative size of guessing where I'm at. And even my pessimistic ass, I kind of have it in my head. I'm like, I don't, I don't even have evidence to suggest I can't do six plates this training cycle. That's probably not realistic with a zoomed out view. I'd probably tell someone else in my shoes to kind of hold their horses. But I just, I haven't even seen anything to suggest that yet. Everything has been going so darn well on all three days this secondary day i'm i'm ahead of schedule we put a little bit of extra weight on the bar today did six reps on my back off which was rep pr everything is going really good did a nice little bodybuilding shoulder workout again not pushing these quite as hard as i was in the hypertrophy phase um but keeping them in there like to keep the blood moving um just like if there's a certain level of kind of volume and movement I'm used to, I definitely like to keep that present all the way through my strength phase. I find if that drops off, I tend to like tighten up and actually feel worse even though I'm doing less. So I should decay fatigue. So I'd rather just keep these low scale stuff, uh, these low scale movements, bodybuilding movements in here. But yeah, man, I, I, it's a good problem to have. I have no idea where I'm at, N not because I haven't been lifting heavy, but because the heavy lifting I've been doing has been relatively easy. I haven't even done something really, even my back offs where I'm getting these good rep sets, I haven't done anything hard enough to give me a feel for like how much um, I've built up through that great hypertrophy phase I had. Uh, today, uh, my assistance work is just kind of shoulders and biceps, nothing exciting, just a pretty standard bodybuilding split, split across my kind of strength training. Uh, day one, I do chest and tries. Day two is kind of legs and like hips, so glutes and adductors. Uh, day three is shoulders and biceps. Um, day four is kind of posterior chain hypertrophy work. And then day five, I do... Uh, upper back hypertrophy work. So that's kind of the underlying body split that follows behind the maybe more periodized, fancier, more thought out uh, strength periodization on the main movements I'm trying to get strong on, like front squats and heavy deadlifts and right now bench press. Um, once I switch over back to strongman stuff, obviously the uh, the bench press switches to overhead events. Front squats, we'll say front squats, pulls from the floor, stay around. Then we got to get into some moving events and some stones on a regular basis as well. So those will be some kind of new things when we make that switch once we get the 600 bench for you guys to watch. And a few of you guys have mentioned how it's, it's a bit odd when I run out of time and the video just stops abruptly. So here's a little video of my adorable dog. Uh, thank you guys for watching my video. This is me signing off. Appreciate you guys' support as always. It really means a lot to me.